Great Sunrise family, I'm here to talk about this dumbing down of America, which for black people, it's totally something else. You see, they knew that eventually, if they kept interfering with our well-being that we would ask for integration. See, I don't know where a lot of people come from when saying not all white people. And I don't know where you come from when you say a lot of our people and skin folk aren't kinfolk. I don't understand over either. I don't get, let's say, because I, I do understand it. I do understand it, overstand it, understand it. But I don't get where... Our people copy talking points of of destruction that was placed upon our men and our black women. That's why I always have the phrase, I don't blame the victim. You see, we as black people are the only victims in the situation. If it's someone's nature to inflict harm for their own survival upon another, that's not a victim because it doesn't harm them in any way to inflict subjugation, to inflict everything that allows them to have their ways upon us, someone else. Because in the end, that person that is inflicting upon another so they can survive, that's their nature. And nature is not a discomfort for them of in any matter they will do it over and over and over and over again if you allow it so they knew they also knew that no one was doing this to them they had free reign free time to think of how to put us in the positions that they needed us in for their survival. So we must know what the opposition of our position of our existence means and looks like. And then we can see all the mechanisms that they use to achieve that. One particular mechanism that they used was... taking the youth and not allowing the elders to pass on a lot of things that were important
for us to to know about ourselves without understanding, overstanding, understanding, outer standing ourselves in our opposition. We could survive, but it would be a struggle. Because then they were able to take our skin folks and make them look like they're not kin folks through the mentality of the beast, which is to separate. or divide and conquer. This is where we stopped being that balance. It's all through messing with our minds and creating they created these these attributes that they call demons but they say the demons demons are in the spirit world but yet we don't know that they are right in front of us they're the opposition that we deal with they're the the white people They're the white people. So the white people have to take life and transform it into what they are. And once they get it transformed into what they are, they become destructionists because that nature that is not of the beast is brought down to a level they say dumb down I say when you bring something down to a level that's more than dumb down because All it simply takes is knowledge for that nature to rise. It takes truth. For that nature to be able to rise. Balance. Overstanding, understanding, understanding outer standing self and they know this what kind of man causes an effect upon gods then sit back and tell you not to judge in church but yet they judge what they done to you as you allowing it as you as if it's your fault as if something is wrong with you And on the other hand, they have people that look like you and me telling 
a percentage of us and influencing our thinking about the white people. Because that black man is powerful when he's on stage. So what are a percentage of our people going to believe and listen to? The power of the black man on stage. The influence of black man on the stage. This is what I call the war amongst us. It's a mystical war because it's using spells and words that once it penetrates you, mundane as it may be, it penetrates you and you're influenced. This is what the spiritual war looks like. And at the same time, they're condemning our black men on stage. So they're doing two things at the one time. The black men that don't comply, the black men that comply. It has to both be dealt with in the eye of the beast. So they handle it accordingly to the detriment of our people. With that said, true love, real peace, and the higher self within. Till next time, family. Please join me on DOD's channel live tonight as well as Friday night. We're going to be discussing some true black history. Peace and love and darkness.